Hello everybody! Bear with me, I'm just fixing, as always, the camera a little bit here. Hello, hello! Hello everyone! Gonna have to shift things a little bit. I did some cleaning today. I don't like it. Can't find anything. Don't like it one bit. <laughs> Just gonna try to adjust the camera a little bit more. Oh, actually, it's my math that's crooked. I was like, I know, it looks like it's straight on there. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Tonight we are continuing to talk about my friends at Arteza. Hi, Luisana. And a huge thank you to everyone that has uh, picked up the mystery box and everyone that has joined the cricket class. Just as a heads up, there is one cricket class left. Um, oh, I can teach a D. One cricket class left because one person um, did have to drop out. Uh, they uh, dropped out very quickly because <laughs> um, they did not, uh, they didn't realize that they had to have, well, at least had to have interest in a cricket. Uh, I think they thought that they were getting a cricket, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so with that being said, uh, the uh, Arteza fine liners we're talking about tonight, if you are interested in a... Uh, if you're interested in the class or the mystery box, I don't know if you guys all saw um, the mystery box information earlier, uh, but I think we have like maybe three of those left. Um, it is our deluxe inspiration box mystery box. Uh, as you guys know, we do a mystery box every quarter, uh, and this one is a really, really, really deluxe one. Uh, because you are receiving, uh, hello Jeffrey, you are receiving in this mystery box a guaranteed sold out inspiration box. The full inspiration box, not bits and pieces from an inspiration box. We're talking the full inspiration box. So that is available. Just letting you guys know. Uh, I did post it below. Of course, you can look for the cricket class as well. You just search for cricket. There is only one left of that though. So, um, just as a heads up, you are going to hear some noise in the background. My uh, 3D printer is running. I'm working on some prototypes on some different things, uh, which it's so awesome to have a 3D printer to be able to prototype some different things. Uh, so just as a heads up, that is, if you hear that in the background, it kind of sounds like a printer, uh, but it is in fact a 3D printer. So I uh, want to go ahead and get started and talk about these uh, fine liners. So tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to color with fine liners in a way that I've colored with fine liners for quite some time. Um, I think I started coloring with fine liners in this, in this fashion in like high school. Uh, but when I was in high school, I didn't, we didn't have all of these colors of fine liners. <laughs> oh, awesome, Lisana. We did not have uh, this many colors that I'm gonna share with you tonight. Uh, but I'm really excited to share these with you because I have fallen in love with them. Uh, but we're going to do some crosshatch coloring, as I call it. So first what we have to do is we have to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to be using the Inked Flowers stamp set, which is one of my absolute favorite stamp sets. And I am going to... Um, I am not sure if they're permanent on fabric. Uh, probably not because they are water-based. All right, so let's grab uh, two stamps here. Let's see what's the other one I want to do. Um, let's do this one too. But they do have fabric markers. If you guys would like for me to review their fabric markers, I can go ahead and ask them if they would send those over to me and I can uh, show those to you. Oh, awesome, Charlotte. It's one of my absolute favorite sets. Hi, Belinda. And I apologize uh, for the camera shaking. It's because my phone is plugged in. And 
since it's plugged in, it is actually, the cord runs across the, the big studio lights and they're attached to the desk. So although the camera or my phone is attached to the ceiling, the uh, cord is attached to, let me see which way this goes. The cord is attached to the lamp that's attached to the desk. All right, so there's those two uh, stamped out. We're just gonna do the two for now. And then I'm gonna show you all the colors that come in. Hi, Sue. That come in this incredible set. Uh, again, I do have to share with you that Arteza did send this to me. I did not pay for these fine liners. They did send them to me free of charge to review and to show you guys, which I'm really excited about because I love showing you guys things and I love telling you what I think about them. And if you use my affiliate link below, um, there is money that is paid out, but it is not paid out to me. It is paid out to the charity of my choice, which is the Trevor Foundation, um, the Trevor Project, excuse me. So if you purchase anything from Arteza, that money goes directly from, uh, from well, it gets sent in a, an account and then it gets donated to the Trevor Project to be completely transparent because they won't, they won't donate directly to the Trevor Project, but it goes, all of it goes to the Trevor Project. I don't see a dime of it. And I'm so excited to be able to do that uh, because I truly believe in uh, donating as much as we possibly can to charity. And uh, the Trevor Project is a very, 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 um, very worthy place of us donating. So anything you purchase from Arteza that is under my link, uh, every single dime goes to the Trevor Project. So thank you all so much for your purchases with uh, Arteza. It makes my heart real happy. And oh my goodness, hold on, we have an update. So the mystery boxes are at this point <clears throat> really, really dwindling. So if you want one of those, just as a heads up, it is not linked below. But I will, um, I will link it again and post it in the field if anybody needs it at all during this broadcast. Um, uh, yes, uh, Diane. Uh, just as a heads up, there it is uh, right there. Just want to let you guys know that they are very, 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 very low in stock. And I want to make sure that you get one if you want one. Because if you don't get one, um, I don't want you to be mad at me because I hate that. <laughs> if we run out of stuff, I don't want you to be upset with me. Uh, oh, good, Jackie. I'm so excited. There's literally one spot left, as far as I know, unless it says that it's sold out. I'm pretty sure there's one, just one spot left. Okay, so let's open these up. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, as, uh, as... There are three cricket classes left. There are three cricket classes left, but it won't accept my British box. Um, hmm. Uh, I do. I don't know that the. Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be accepting those. You may have to just send an email to Heather. Um, I'm sure we can squeeze one more in if it sells out tonight. Uh, so send it to, just send an email to Heather, Diane, and we can get that figured out for you. Because I know you can use Brutus Bucks on the classes. I know that for a fact. I know that you can't use Brutus Bucks on, uh, and all of this will be outlined soon with the new Brutus Bucks program, um, meaning that there's going to be, all this will be detailed. You'll be able to go to a page that tells you everything about uh, everything about, um, about the, the program and the way the program works. So yeah, you can, there are certain things that you'll see outlined in the, the new program, which it's not that much different, but there are certain things that, um, you won't, oh yes, it may be if you're logged in, that might be why. Diane. Okay, so these are the fine liners. So there's, of course, with Arteza, there's always a surprise. So here's the first, and then there is a second underneath. And then there's also a third. So look at how many fine liner pens you get. I apologize. I do not know the retail price on these. <laughs> I should always look for that, but I'm not sure the retail price. But I can tell you that you're getting 102 fine liner pens. <clears throat> and the colors are beautiful. 
I cannot get enough of these colors. I am just head over heels for these colors. They're just really, really, really pretty. And oh my goodness, I just uh, just got a message uh, from one of our awesome, awesome YouTube subscribers, and she just said, I am so excited that I got one of the mystery boxes. I can't wait to see what inspiration box I get. That's really, really fun. Oh, it's 39? Okay. $39? Wait a second. They're only $39? Wait. That can't be right. Is that right? Oh my goodness. That's okay. All right. I mean, I am really, really, really impressed. That's insane to me. I mean, even if you were to purchase these, not even to use for what I'm using them for tonight, but to utilize them for, like, your office or something like that, or, I mean, for planners, really, this is like a no-brainer. $39? All right. Listen, Arteza, if you're watching this, that's a home run. That's a home run. I mean, okay. That's crazy. That is Le Cucaracha. Okay. So we're going to start with this flower here. And I'm going to grab... Now, these do not have color names. I'm assuming that after the individual who was in charge of naming all of the True Blend markers were done naming those, they were exhausted. So they didn't name these ones too. Um, but I think we'll have fun naming them ourselves. Uh, because uh, I'm going to use two colors that are kind of similar to each other. I would say that this is like a like a blush pink, and um, this one is going to be a little bit more of like a purplish pink, like a lavender pink. It's hard to, I'll kind of show you the two of them side by side. Um, but the way I do the crosshatch coloring is I'm going to start with one color, and look at how fine the nib is on there. So, oh yes, rose pink. So these nibs are 0 0.4 millimeter. And of course they come in this awesome tin. I won't be keeping mine in my tin because I'm gonna put mine in my marker case. Uh, no, Melissa, these are uh, water-based. So for cross-touch coloring, what I do is I just kind of, what is? It was like there was something sticky. So for cross-touch coloring, all I do is just go and this is kind of, this is like really therapeutic. Just do a whole bunch of little striations. I have no idea what is sticky on this table, but it's going to drive me bananas. And I used to color like this, like I said, all the time in high school. And then you're going to go back in the opposite direction. And I like... Um, doing this with a whole bunch of if you do a whole bunch of stamped images before you leave for your trip or whatever uh adventure you are going on you do a whole bunch of these uh stamp a whole bunch of different uh bold lined items out and then you can go in and color them while you're on your trip so now i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm only going to do the bottom area see that And that's going to add our shadowing. Okay. So now I'm going to do it again. Remember, we're going to pretend that the light is coming from here. And again, we're going to go in. And it just creates a really cool technique. The idea is you do not want your lines to be perfect. I know there are going to be some folks out there that are going to want to grab a ruler. No, 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 no. This is not a ruler situation, and I'm just going to do this one too. And the the reason it's going to look so different and so unique and so cool is the different striations. It's not a fan, Georgia. It's actually the 3D printer. But it is actually, you are correct, it is a fan. It's just the fan uh, for the 3D printer. I'm doing some prototyping this evening of something you might see 
something you might see in the near future. I don't know. All right, so again, I'm just going to go in and do, and you can do them closer if you would like or further. It's completely up to you, obviously. We always say to create your own ending. And then, oh, did you? Good, Kara. It's a lot to try to get it all set up. So then I will come in this way. This is actually the way when I was in college that they taught us about shadowing. Just made things so much easier when you were using lines as opposed to trying to shade. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Oh, awesome. I um, was making a, I made a Cricut tool thing uh, the other day. These are the, this is what I made overnight last night. So you guys know I love these, uh, these skull pen holders. So I made one in this copper color. Although I use this new filament. I might do a video on 3D printing at some point to give everybody the trials and tribulations of what I've gone through. But uh, this is the new copper and it's actually, these are actually the Everblend markers. This is the, um, this is the blah, 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 Amazon filament. So I don't know if I'm that, that excited about it yet. I am using uh, right now also the Amazon filament, but I'm using clear because my mother-in-law got me uh, for my birthday last year. She got me some filament um, and I also have glow in the dark I want to play around with. Oh, I use Thingiverse. That's where I get all the designs from. I mean, I've started designing some things on my own, but I am teaching myself how to be a 3D designer. I've been a, a 2D designer for a very long time, so teaching myself how to do 3D is, because I haven't done 3D designing since I was in college. And But the thing is, for me, I love all aspects of design, so I uh, am really excited to have a new, new way of designing. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, so this one here, we'll say there's just a little bit of shadowing right here and then right here there's going to be a little bit of shadowing up to this area okay and then in the finer areas I need new monthly hands oh my goodness Kathy um, well I can tell you that um, you're going to love it. <laughs> I know that's terrible, uh, but I can tell you, you can you're going to love it. Um, I can show you a sneak peek of something as soon as I'm done coloring this flower. Would you like to see maybe an add-on that's going to be available for the inspiration box? It might give you a hint of what the inspiration box is going to be. Also, you know what this reminds me of now that I'm looking at it? This kind of reminds me of cross-stitch. Doesn't it look like cross-stitch? Um, I've never really seen it before either. I think I might have just made it up. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you guys have seen this before, let me know. Um, I think I just might have made it up in my head. Uh, or I may have seen it somewhere before. I don't know. But I used to do this all the time when I was in high school because I loved it was just like busyness you know what I mean I know I can't wait till I show next month's stamp either I'm really excited about it okay so I'm gonna add just a little bit of shadowing here and here 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 a little bit here and a little bit here just for consistency. Okay. Okay, so there's that. 
So, there's that, there's that. With those kissing, kissing aid. Oh my goodness. Sophia. I love that name, Carrie. I love, love, love that name. Love it. Love that name. Okay, so now for this flower, I think we'll do some some blues. So I'm gonna grab these two blues here. One of them, I'm gonna call this one turquoise, and I think that one's like a robin's egg. Oh wait, let me move this up. See, this is why I can't keep them in the trays. I need to see them all. You know what I mean? I need to see them all. I can't be messing around with looking for them. Like moving the trays. I need... to be able to see all of my colors. And the idea to make this work is you want to make sure that all of your striations are kind of going in different directions. So like for this one, now I'm going to go in this direction and then in that direction and it kind of gives it the look and feel that it is different coloration, if that makes sense. Okay, and we're gonna do a little water test too. Actually, if I have a water brush, we'll be doing a water test. Could have sworn, oh yeah. I gonna say, I could have sworn I set one out. Yes, dots. Yeah, it does remind me of doing dots in art class. Which was my entire college career was art class. Art class every day. Yeah, for me, it's just very therapeutic because you really are just filling in the lines. And I love it because it really gives it a different look. It's almost like you look at it and you're like, well, wait a second. How did they do that? Oh, it's made up of like seven gajillion little check or little boxes. But I am going to stamp these out again and I'm going to actually fully color them in. So you can see how that works as well. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of this color here, just to the center areas, which is going to add um, I'm not sure, but I can tell you the coloring I'm doing right now. This is the uh, Brutus Monroe alabaster cardstock and it's really holding up well okay so i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm going to oh my goodness we're really 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 low on the mystery boxes i just took a look so i'm just gonna put a little bit of ink down here then i'm gonna grab my water brush Oh, they're moving a little bit. Now, again, this is alabaster paper. This was not made for this type of uh, this type of coloring. So let me grab some. I know I had a scrap that I put aside, but where did I put it aside? Let me grab a scrap of watercolor paper. Is this it? Found it. Oh, I love that. Uh, Deb, the tip on these is, 
uh, 0.4 is what it says on the marker. So 0.4 millimeters. All right, so let's see something here. Oh yeah, I mean, it's moving. The only problem is, well, the only problem I can foresee is that since it's not, I mean, it's really, well, let's see here. I actually cannot believe how well it's writing on this little acrylic block here. Oh yeah, I could pick up the color. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's actually working a lot better than I thought that it would. Do you see that? That's really cool. So that's that test. But to do a true test, so here's an Arteza. So let's do, hold on. Do you guys want to see a true comparison? Hold on. I'm going to go grab two other Arteza products. But first, let me grab that sneak peek so I have it ready. Hold on. We're back, we're back. Sorry, everyone. All right. So we are back and I'm gonna show you, I have a couple of different Arteza products here that I wanna show you a compare and contrast so you can get, so we can get a true look at, can you guys see me? A true compare and contrast. Yeah, when I walked away, for some reason it went out. I don't know why. All right. So, here's the E-True Hollywood story. So, we have the Arteza. This is the Real Brush marker, Real Brush pen. We have, this is the Real Brush marker, Real Brush pen. We have, I'm going to grab blues from each one of them. Try to grab blues like within the, the family of what I'm doing. All right. So let me grab like a dark blue for this one. It's not the same blue, but, oh wait, let me do this blue. All right. The problem is whenever I try to put it on HD, it's buffering. It buffers for some reason when I, okay. So hopefully it's working now. So this is the real brush pen. This is the fine liner. This is the twi, I'm gonna grab one of the twi markers. That's in like this color family. And then I'm going to grab one I don't know why it's buffering. Are we back? I think we're back. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit though. All right, I think we're back. All right, so we're gonna do a, a true test here. So. What I'm gonna do is, oh, this 3D print's looking real good. Sorry, got distracted. The 3D print's looking really good. It's um, going to be another skull, but this time I'm using transparent or translucent. Oh. See if I can get this pen to work. This is not an Arteza product. This is a Bic product. All right, there we go. So we're going to start with, we're right over here. So this is the, Twi marker. Then we'll have the real brush. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, awesome! I cannot wait to see what you do with them. So then we have fine liner. And then we have the watercolor pencils. All right. Let's see what we got here. Or what we can do here, I guess we should say. So we're going to start with the twi marker. Ah, uh, not yet. I have it sitting right next to me. Uh-oh. How'd everything go today, Hez? So I'm going to start with trying to pull it out from direct to paper. And I, of course, I'm going to give them all a fair chance. Woo! Pretty good. So far, so good. Good. Luckily, we'll all be back together on Saturday. Thank goodness. I miss you guys. All right. So then we have Real Brush. And I have a feeling this one's going to do the best because that's what really... While the watercolor... Oh, yes. So there's that guy. Okay, and then the fine liner. The only way to get a good comparison. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, my brother-in-law is in here too. Everyone say hello to Joe. Give him a warm Brutus Monroe welcome. Okay, so this one is I Miss You Too, Joseph. So this is the... This is the fine liner. And then last but not least, we are going to do the... I don't know why I keep looking at the side of this. It's a watercolor pencil. <laughs> okay. All right, just a mystery box update. Looks like we have three left. Just as a heads up, we have three of the mystery boxes left. Remember, it is almost a uh, $200 value uh, for $99.99. They are, I can almost guarantee they are going to sell out by tomorrow morning. Uh, they do have a mystery box, a mystery box. I can't, I can't do, two, say two boxes in the same thing. They are, um, they are all going to include a, in, an inspiration box that you can no longer get. It is sold out. The mystery box is sold out. The inspiration box is sold out. <laughs> Sold out the the ones that are in the box. Some of them are from last year. Like the one, whoever gets that autumn one, you're real lucky. I love the harvest one. I hope I can't wait to see who gets it. I can't wait to see who gets you know all of them. Okay, so here's a quick overview of the different items that we use. So the way the twi marker works, and uh, remember that I partnered with Arteza. I love Arteza products. They are incredible. Um, every time that you purchase something from Arteza, uh, they make a donation on my behalf uh, to the Trevor Project. So buy so much Arteza, please, please, please. Uh, and they're great products, so why not? Uh, so with the twi marker, the twi marker is a water-based ink. It says they are blendable. That is something that we will talk about in another video or another live. Uh, the Twi Markers are an awesome, awesome product. I haven't had a chance to really uh, blend and do stuff with them, but uh, they are. there are 48 in the pack that was sent to me. So you can see there's a lot. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of markers in here, and we'll talk more about those in the future. Then we have the, uh, and oh, so let me explain so I'm fuzzy and blurry. It looks real clear on my end. Hmm. 
Okay, so uh, the the way the twi marker worked, and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. I want you to get. Well, I want you to get real up and person, real up close and personal here. So as you can see with the twi marker, this is not what this marker was meant to do. You can see that the the ink really soaked into the uh, Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment paper really really quickly. Um, there is not yet Tracy, but come back and see me on Friday. Come back and see me on Friday, my friend. So, as you can see, that water-based uh, ink soaked in very quickly to the uh, to the Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment paper. And what happened uh, was it did still bleed out. So you can see there that we did still get some some really great movement, but it it, it stayed. You see what I mean? It stayed right there. Now, with the real brush marker, which this is really what these were supposed to do, uh, what these were meant to do, is you can see the color is consistently moving. Where there is more water, the uh, ink or, or, or the, the pigment is going to stay in that place. This is a really beautiful, beautiful watercolor uh, gradient or, or transition. The fine liner, as you can see, is acting very similar as the twi marker did. So you can see with the twi marker, basically the the twi marker and the fine liner, the pigment is kind of staying put, which is okay. That's that's still okay. That's not a bad thing. Uh, we we want the pigment to stay where it is for what those are are the purpose of those are. Then you can see with the H two O H two O pencil, um, the the pigment is moving quite a bit. You can see there's still a lot of pigment that will move here. Uh, I shouldn't have played around with that, but um, it is the pigment is moving. Okay, I put a lot of pigment down. You saw whenever I was drawing it, there was a lot of pigment that went down. But these tails, these comet tails, are what's very important. Look at how beautiful those are. So in our next test that we're going to do, which is going to be the same thing, but I'm just going to draw a little bit onto our Brutus Monroe acrylic block. Uh, I'm going to show you how you are able to use all of these as a watercolor. Um, hold on. As a watercolor. And you'll be able to use them as a watercolor without going direct to the paper. Is everybody following me? Are you following me? Do you, do you get it? I hope. Did I lose anyone? <laughs> Is anyone lost? You got it? Okay. So, again, we are going to write down twi marker. Real brush. Fine liner. And H2O pencil. Now, the only difference... The only difference of what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe. This is one of our acrylic blocks. You can use any acrylic blocks. The circle one isn't special in any respect of swatching. It's very special whenever you're using it because it has these grips, but it is not substantially special in any way when it comes to um, when you're swatching. An acrylic box and acrylic block. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with the twi marker. And this might be something that's really good for me to do as a blog post. I haven't done a blog post in so long. That might be great to, uh, to scan these in and show you. Okay, so I'm going to start with a twine marker. So what you do is you're just going to take some pigment. And you can see these markers are very juicy. Take that pigment, grab your water brush. And then just zhuzh that out there. Start the darker and then move out. That's pretty darn good. I think that's pretty gosh darn good. So let me clean out my brush. Uh, I'm gonna clean off my acrylic block with my hand. That's what I always do. Now we're gonna grab the real brush, which is this guy here. Again, place a whole bunch of pigment onto our acrylic block. Grab that pigment. Okay. 
and just blend that pigment out. That one's really good. Again, clean it off on my hand. You can see I don't mind. I'm gonna, I'll have to wash my hands later, but it's, I'm always cover, covered in color. So now, whoops, I got something in there, that's okay. So now we're gonna grab the fine liner, okay? And things are kind of moving down a little bit, and that's okay, because this this paper was smaller. Well, you know, hopefully we'll get the idea. Uh, I'll probably actually cut this off anyway and put the words over top of it. Um, let's see. Fine liner. And again, I'm very surprised at how well the fine liner is holding up on this acrylic. Usually with a very fine pen like this, you would not be able to get it to write on acrylic like this. It's kind of it's kind of crazy to me, but it's really cool. Okay, so now with the fine liner, you can tell we're getting a much, much lighter pigmentation. But it's, it's holding its own. It's just, it certainly does not look like the color that's here. But that's because we're definitely watering it down inadvertently. Okay, and then last but not least, the... Watercolor pencil. And I am getting a little bit of lead off of here, but not much. Let's see if we're even going to get anything from this. We can try. Oh, yeah. Not much. Not as much as you would get if you go direct to the pencil. So what I mean by direct to the pencil is... Let me clean this off. I'm going to be like 38,000 shades of blue. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So if you go direct to the pencil, which just means you're just going to circle the pencil around a little bit. Grab some color, and you can see how you're going to get a lot of gray pigment. See that? Thank you. Oh, great question. My absolute favorite to work with out of all four are the real brush pens. Now. I don't say that to say that I don't love the other ones. I mean, I, I've loved every Arteza product that's been sent to me. Uh, they all work really well artistically. Do I have some qualms about... I have some qualms about the that some of the color systems are. Yes, but that's only with the, uh, with the alcohol markers. And I, we talked about that the other night. The only reason I dislike the color system with the alcohol markers is it's confusing. It's just, it's just confusing to me. And hopefully I can chat with Arteza and they'll be able to give me some insight onto why the color system is the way that it is. Uh, but that's just it's confusing. Um, so with that being said, the uh, real brush are my favorite. I have used the real brush on so many different things. Uh, one of which was this that we did the other night. Um, so I colored this the other night. This is the um, one of our brand new Oh, hold on. Lost my train of thought because, oh, these, this is over on my shelf. I was like, where'd that bin go? Uh, this is one of the brand new watercolor panels that you can get from Brutus Renault. They're brand spanking new. We just got another shipment of them in because you guys went gangbusters on them whenever they first, first were released. But I colored this with the, um, Arteza Real Brush. And again, you get a whole bunch of them in the set. They're basically just card panels that you're able to use, but they have texture, as you can see. And there's also, um, they just, they work really well with watercolor. Really, really, really well. I love them, I really do. Okay, so let's move this off to the side. And look, now that that's dried back, that's a really pretty watercoloring. Now you can see the difference though from direct to paper. So see how different that is? I mean, the color's still there, but it's very different. Yeah, if I were to give one, if I was to give a recommendation, if you only could buy one. Um, oh, awesome, Tita. If you could only buy one. 
I would say to go with the real brush. Uh, if you could only buy two, I would say to go with the real brush and the watercolor pencils. If you could only buy three, I would go with the um, the real brush, the watercolor pencils, and the uh, the twi markers only because the fine liners are really for a specific task. Now, if you could get all of them, I would get all of them because I'm having the time of my life with them. Um, I also got something else that I haven't had a chance to show you. I can show you a sneak peek. I think I'm going to be showing it next week. Would you like to see a sneak peek of something else that they sent me? They've been very good to me and very good to you guys because you're able to see uh, what these goodies are. Hold on one second. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be a good boy and I'm gonna put the items that I'm done with away. Cause all of this is, oh, hold on. What am I doing? Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. It's not facing up, that's okay. I'll fix it later. Let me close that. Let me put this twi marker back. There we go. All right, so let me go put this stuff away. And I love that it's in tins. I wish everything they made came in, came in tins. Okay, let me put these away here in my new shelving. Okay. So this is something else that they sent me that I'm super excited to share with you, I think next week. Um, and these are there, and Rob tried to steal these from me. So I'm just gonna tell you all that right now. He tried to pull the wool over my eyes and steal these. So these are the, what are these? Retractable gel pens. And he tried to steal these and he tried to steal the fine liner. So, this is a 0.7. You do have to take this little piece off the end of it. I learned the hard way the other day. It's like, why is it this writing? And these write, okay. So if you love a good pen, like just a pen, you know, for like your office or a pen just in life, these are, so the black ones, you get a 0.5 and a 0.7. So the 0.7, they just, I mean, they write like a dream. But 0.5 is my favorite because I like, or wait, no, the 0.7 I like. 0.5 is nice too. It's a much thinner, but I just love all of these colors. And I have to get a piece of tape. Hold on. This is going to drive me bonkers. Because the bottom of this one, I pulled the tape off the wrong end. Right? I love them. All right. Grab a piece of this giant washi. We'll fix this guy right up here. There we go. Much better. All right, so yeah, so you get, I'm sure the orange already has a thing off of it. Yep, because you know my favorite color. Uh, but this is something that we'll talk about next week. I'm not gonna be doing any uh, not going to be doing any coloring with them, but we're going to kind of swatch the different colors because anything that I get, even if it's an office supply like this, I like to swatch the colors. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have a swatch book that's just for swatching colors. And these, oddly enough, actually have... These actually have color names. Which I think is really cool. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm -hmm. Arteza gel pens are available in a variety of types and colors. Love it. Mm. And they show coloring on the front here. Mm. Really cool. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a sneak peek. Don't tell anyone that I, oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna use my Brutus Monroe case to put these in. I'm not going to empty them out and, and put them in and make you guys wait, but I'm going to put them inside of here so I remember that this is the case I want to use. The Bruce Renault pencil case. Okay, so I'm just showing a sneak peek of one of the add-ons for next month. Well, next month, tomorrow, my goodness gracious. Um, how exciting that we're already here. We're, we're in August. 
Um, hi, Polly. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a little sneaky peeky of uh, an item that is an add-on. And this is probably going to give you a little bit of insight into what next month's theme is. But this is one of, I know it drives me nuts, Kara. Hopefully that they'll all, I mean, I think it's because all the sets came on different times, but regardless, um, is it buffering for everyone? Because I can still see on my end. No, not buffering. You're good. I'm just gonna try to adjust the camera a little bit. It's wonky regardless. Okay, so we have a deluxe laser cut for next uh, for next month, which is tomorrow. Uh, now, I will tell you that these are gonna sell out very quickly. The reason being is they're one of the most deluxe, if not the most deluxe laser cut we've ever done. Um, and this is, takes a really long time on the laser. <laughs> a really long time on the laser uh, to get this rocking and rolling. So, um, let's see. Okay. Okay, so here we go. This is one of the laser cuts that are is going to be available. Now, obviously, all of the pieces are not cut out. Of, well, I take that back. They are cut out, but they're not all popped out. And that's because if we don't pop them all out, it ships much, much better. Yes, Heidi, you are in luck. But I'm not going to show you anything else because... It's a big surprise. Big surprise. This is, uh, the boxes just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, this is the, uh, the die cut, one of the die cuts you can get. Um, it's really, really cool, really, really fun. And I can let you in on a little secret. This is also the stencil of the month. It's just 6 by 6 instead of 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So, this is also the stencil of the month. So, I'm really excited because everything goes together. I can't wait to share with you everything that's in the inspiration box as well as all of the other products. The products are, when you, if you love steampunk and you love funky and um, kind of like industrial, I'll tell you right now, this next box is going to blow you away. Wait until you see the pin. Just the pin alone. Now, we did order additional pins because we know that this next box is going to sell out. It's going to be gone. When we did Steampunk last year, it was gone in, like, no time at all. Especially when you see the artwork for the stamp. So, if you, uh, if you don't get a box, this is just a preface. Um, just as a heads up, at midnight tonight, this is very important. This is a very important announcement. At midnight tonight, the stock for the inspiration boxes will change. Meaning, all of the inspiration boxes will be replenished tonight at midnight. They will ship to you by the 15th. That doesn't mean they're, all, they're gonna ship tomorrow. But the, um, oh, awesome penny, wait until you see the new one. Uh, so, just as a heads up, they will begin shipping next week. But, if you don't get the box, if you are signed up for the box, and let's say the box sells out, uh, by Friday, which we're, we, you know, we always hope that we have enough that they don't swell out in two days. But if they, uh, if they were to sell out, make sure that you get yourself a, um, get yourself the pin and the pin will go live. Uh, the pin will go live tonight as well. Okay. All of these products will actually go live first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, because the box obviously is automatic for most people. If you have signed up for an out of stock notifier to be notified when they go back in stock, make sure you run because these inspiration boxes, they're going. And we keep making more. We're, we're trying our best. We keep making more, but they are, they go right out the door. So 
Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the goodies that I shared with you tonight. If you would like one of those mystery boxes that has a guaranteed retired inspiration box in it, make sure to grab one. Um, um, stay tuned, Heidi. I think you will be very, uh, very, very excited very, very soon. Very, very soon. So stay tuned. We have a lot of florals coming. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I am going to post the link one more time for the Inspiration Mystery Box. I hope it's not sold out. I don't think it's sold out. If I'm posting this link, I want to make sure that it's not sold out. Um, uh, yeah, it's not sold out. We still have a handful, but I'm going to post it. If you're watching this video in the future, I apologize if they are sold out. Uh, but of course, we do have mystery boxes every quarter, and uh, we will have more in the future. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I can't wait to see what you get in your mystery box. Remember to create something every day, whether that is a beautiful watercolor panel or your own ending. I love you all more than you'll ever know. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being such a huge blessing in my life, and I cannot wait to hang out and create with you again. Have a wonderful evening and an even better tomorrow morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, my friends.